The city's Finance and Economic Development Committee Tuesday agreed to recommend the Rideau Carlton Raceway as the only viable location for a new casino in Ottawa, but not before getting an earful from Ottawa Senators owner Eugene Melnick. Melnick says the Sens need new revenue sources to improve the Canadian Tire Centre and the hockey team. He even sent in his lawyer to the committee to warn councillors the company is looking at legal options, even citing the Friends of Lansdowne case on the issue of bonusing a specific group. It just puts a whole damper on uh, my, my enthusiasm that I came here with 10 years ago. And, you know, it basically wipes out any, uh, you know, you have on the one hand fans screaming, you know, why aren't you spending this? Why aren't you spending that? Well, guess what? We don't have the money for it. We can't. Well, I can't spend another five, six million dollars on a player and hopefully, because the, the revenues aren't there. The team will not be viable. We've just made it viable. Mayor Jim Watson says Melnick's frustration with the city won't reflect poorly in the relationship. We've had a very good relationship with Mr. Melnick. We put a lot of money down on the table to attract events that go into his venue. So uh, look at uh, Mr. Melnick's a successful businessman because he wins some, he loses some. And at the end of the day, uh, if you're not successful in one front, you don't just simply say, I'm not going to deal with the city anymore because we have been good partners. We're partners with him in the Sensplex in the, in the West End, the new ones being built, uh, the Rink of Dreams program, uh, Obviously, uh, the concerts, Junos, um, uh, the World Figure Skating Championships. We've been uh, connected at the, the hip with the Ottawa Senators and have a very positive relationship. Uh, I sit on a number of committees with the serial leader and, uh, and boards of directors, and I, I, you know, I continue to value his input. So, um, you know, he's not successful on, on this front, uh, but that doesn't say that we're just going to simply stop working with them because they are an important part of the economy. The recommendation rises to Council July 17th. For Sun Media, I'm John Willing.